What's going on guys, Skyer from TechLitch today, and today we're talking to you about how you can fix the uh, or slide to upgrade feature in iOS 9. So if you didn't know, when you update to iOS 9, at least on the older iPads, I've had personal experience with this yesterday, you will eventually come up, uh, it'll eventually come up with a slide to upgrade option. Quite frankly, it is extremely annoying and it can be very aggravating. The issue is basically that Apple pre-released the software. They released it when they shouldn't have uh, because they wanted to get it out as fast as possible. So today I'll be showing you how you can fix this issue without having any problems. So first thing you want to do, and unfortunately because I don't have a computer nearby, I can't show you this. That's why I'm screen recording on my phone. But you're going to start by uh, wanting to go in the uh, iTunes store, or go in the iTunes, connect your, for example, let's say, in my, in my case, the iPad 4th generation, just a little example, connect any device. Connect your device to iTunes, all right, or to your computer. At that point, iTunes will pop up, all right? So then once iTunes pops up, you are going to want to restore as new, all right? So you'll, you'll want to restore your iPhone as a new, or uh, any iOS device as new. Now, if you don't want to lose any of your data, you're going to, uh, I want to make it very clear real quick, anyone that has an Apple ID account should, before you upgrade it to iOS 9 on your device, it should have automatically backed up your phone or any device through iCloud and that's exactly what happened to me I had no clue because I don't do iCloud too often or I don't use it too often and I was kind of nervous because I almost lost everything I was one of those people that didn't back up on iTunes or, and at least I didn't think iCloud um, but it did it automatically so uh, be sure before you upgrade I just want to make it very clear make sure you do that make sure you back it up but if you didn't it should have automatically backed up on iCloud. I want to make that clear. And if it again, if it didn't, then just go on the iTunes app on your computer and then back it up. That's all you need to do. Then after that's over, you're going to restore it as new. But don't worry, you're not going to lose anything. Just restore it as new. Once it completely restores, then you're going to go through the setup process. Do not, and I repeat, do not, in the process, don't click when it comes with the apps and data section. I repeat, do not click on the iCloud backup. Set it up as new. If you want to keep your device, set it up as new. All right, when you're going through the process. Then you're going to continue through the process, go and do all that. Don't set a passcode. Another thing, don't set a passcode. And then you're going to, it's going to say, welcome to the iPad. You'll be back on your iPad, but there's not, there's not going to be anything on it. Then on your iPad, you're going to go uh, and want to go to, on your iPad, you're going to go to Safari and type in beta.apple.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. You're going to scroll down until you find side up, and then you're going to want to click that. And I'm not going to click that because I don't want to, you know, show you my information. But you're going to click sign up. And if you're already a member, sign in. And you're going to want to create, uh, you're going to sign in with your Apple ID. Whether you're signing up or signing in. Sign in with your Apple ID. And then there's going to be a little option that says enroll your device. You're going to click that. You're going to click uh, download profile. And you're basically downloading iOS 9.1. Install that. And then the good news is, well, after you install that, you're going to want to restart your iPad, obviously. That's what it's going to ask you to do. It's going to restart your uh, iOS device. It doesn't have to be an iPad, any iOS device that you're trying to do. And it's going to download iOS 9.1 on your iPad or iPhone or any device that you have. All right, so once it finishes uh, downloading, so once it finishes the download process for iOS 9.1 on your iPad or iPhone or whatever you have, you're going to want to go to settings. Here, I'll show you that real quick. If I can. You want to go to uh, settings. Then you want to go down to general. Then you're going to go down to reset. 
Then you're going to click Erase All Settings. And then, if you, uh, and then you're, you're going to type in your password if you had one. But if you don't, then you're good. So then, after you did that, it's going to erase everything off your device. Then it's going to go through the setup process again. So it's going to say, welcome to iPad or whatever. Hello, slide. Uh, you're going to want to slide it. Go through the process. This time, back it up with iCloud. Click uh, Restore from iCloud Backup. Click that, put in your Apple ID, and then you'll be good to go. You won't have any issues, nothing like that. And this is something that no one knew about. I was experiencing this issue all day. I thought I lost everything on my iPad 4. But luckily enough for me, I didn't lose anything because of it. So I just wanted to give this out to you guys now. I know a lot of people are forcing or telling you to pay for this to learn how to do it. But I don't want to do that to you guys. You are my loyal viewers. So that's why I'm doing this for you guys today. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, let, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Or email us at techlifttoday.co at gmail.com. We're always here to help. Also tweet us at techlifttoday.co. But that's about it, guys. Let us know if you have any questions. Be sure to head over to techlifttoday.co.com for more videos or uh, more tutorials just like this. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash techlifttoday.co. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.